Hi fellow viewers and welcome to my channel again. It's been a while since my last update. I've been working hard on some other projects and work. Um, and I'd like to show you a bit more progress so I'm gonna start off with a topo gun tutorial slash advancement in the clay face project. First off, this is Topogun 2.0, 64-bit. Uh, it's a program to take your model, your high-res model, and work on it and change the topology, build a, a newer topology. So first off, I'm working on a two-monitor setup. So the screen for Topogun is here, and the tools are on the other screen so I'm gonna move them over here these are the tools now as you can see every time I go above a tool it gives me a little bit explanation down below I don't really need this but let's work on it now the first thing you're gonna do in Topogon is load the object you exported from ZBrush uh, or in Mudbox or any other program you worked on. So you do that by pressing load reference. Load ref or going to file load reference. Now you go to the place you put the file and load it. Now this is an OBJ which I created in, in ZBrush using uh, decimation master you can now this is uh, not a high-res model because I use decimation ma master but it's high enough to show the details so in order to start we're going to create polygons or vertexes and then polygons. We do the, um, this by using the simple create tool. You press it or uh, press the left mouse button and then you can start putting dots. You see I place the first one and then I'll place another one, another one, another one. I created four points and then I connect them using the control key and the left mouse button. Now uh, a little bit of correction, you use the right mouse button to transfer between uh, create and move. Simple edit. Now you can use the simple edit to pick points or edges and move them around. Now as I'm moving this around it's conforming to the surface of the mesh so I can go to simple create select this dot using the control key press here, here, and then holding control press using the le left mouse button here now, if I want to add an edge here, I can go into the simple create, hold shift on the edge, press the left mouse button, and press the left mouse button, all while holding shift. This way I can go, every time I um, want to create something, I right click twice in order to leave that selection, hold the control and the shift and go here. Why Why do I uh, double click the, the right mouse button is because if I want to keep working it'll still um, be connected to this dot so if I had something like I want to start cutting this part 
it'll create a line from the last dot to here so that's why I double click double tap the right mouse button now this is basically how you work there's also a tool option here in the simple create that makes faces this way you can just uh, click on the left mouse button next to a point and it'll create a uh, plane, a, a polygon. In this point it creates a three point polygon which you can make into a four point polygon by holding shift and creating a dot here. So I'll just go like this and remember every time you need you just create a um, every time you need to create a polygon you just click next to the the point you want to attach to and drag out that way and hold control and click this dot this way you can create simple geometry Hold this, hold that, again, working with shift, control, and the mouse, I'm going to move this geometry. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to need more information so I need to cut an edge loop here so I can go around and with the shift start adding an edge loop or I can select an edge and go here and select connect ring this will create geometry on that um, loop. The problem here is that sometimes it doesn't really get the points right. So you need to take these points and play with them so they'll conform to the mesh. So right now I can't select this point because it's behind the surface. So I need to select back facing in the simple edit tool. I select back faces and you see I can select this this dot I play with it a bit move it and it pops back up okay I still need a bit, a bit more uh, definition here, but this is looking okay for now. So this is the torso, how I make it. I can also take the uh, extrude brush, select holding shift these um, edges and pull on this green part and it extrudes a line of um, polygons now it did do a bit of a something really okay there now I'm going to go around and keep doing uh, the torso. I'm going to pause the video and show you what's happening afterwards. So I went along and kept retopologizing this mesh. As you can see, I've created a rough shell around the torso and 
the shoulder. Uh, I tried to follow the contours of the muscles and how they'd act. Trying to create a shape. Later on we'll uh, subdivide this mesh and see what else, whatever details we can achieve. But right now this seems about right. In the next lesson we'll work on the head uh, topology. Thank you and don't forget subscribe and like. It really gives me the uh, push to make more videos. Thank you.